now we all know the apple the newly creepiest tag i'm talking about the apple version bro and it has its own boundaries and own level of the things which are different and unique for this vision bro had that apart from that the apple vision bro has its own way of talking it's quite different and what we are able to see in a different different ar reality had that the apple vision bro is one of the futuristic yet cool looking product from apple Apple has designed it in a way that it looks kind of crazy enough and also in an attractive manner. It is also a kind of a, see, a futuristic goggles which cost you a really really big amount from your pocket. This Vision Pro headset also comes with a kind of a, see, a different type of tech which is unique and yet cool for its own vision for reality. It has a sensors and each has new new stuff but at the end of the day there are always some of the big dark sided stuff. which Apple Vision Pro is also having some of it. The Apple Vision Pro hasn't released the art for the public but it when it showcased it was kind of a different when it comes to the actual footage when Apple introduced in the event while comparing with the normal end devices. We want to talk about some of the dark side of stuff and what are the good points about the Vision Pro headset. This is Captain India was you're watching Chaos India was and uh, let's talk about the Apple Vision Pro. Firstly, some of the production updates which has been happening with the Apple Vision Pro. The first lens, we all know that the Apple didn't release it at the time of the production or something like that. They were showcased and they kept it it for a demo and perspective of the first glance, first view and stuff like that. But we can't get a lot to know about the product when we have only the first appearance and first glance over the product. Apart from that, it is expected that the March of the 2024 will be the time when Apple will be commercially releasing the $3,500 goggles. It will be also having a power bank support, so it might be directly connected wirelessly to a kind of see a small looking power bank, I guess, which will be going in. Apart from that, a lot of uh, different different sensors have been also optimized for this guy. Sensors will be one of the crucial point for your head tracking and stuff like that. This are kind of as it kept in a really lightweight and minimal manner so that it uh, don't affect your normal day to day usage. It blends in with as if it is your normal and specs. Apart from that, they are also tracking a lot of stuff on the top of it, such as when it comes to the accessibility and stuff like that. They introduced a lot of new features such as the hand control gestures, uh, hand movements, your iris control sensors, iris unlock. Also, a lot of new privacy concerned stuff also has been added on the top of it. It is powered by the M2 processor and the R1 processor. R1 is dedicated for the Vision Pro headset, and M2 is one of the Mac uh, Mac iPad based processor which has been its own, which has its own way of talking, and it is basically looking a lot forward with the computing of this device. Apart from there, a lot of new technology has been also adopted from a different different brand when it comes to the lenses. They it has been powered by the Zeiss. as if on the time of the introduction not a lot of new stuff can be seen around for this guy not a lot of applications can be seen around for this guy so there are some things which needed to be talked about the operating system go to the very first concern operating system at the first glance the operating system of the iphone so you can see the each and every apple product has been kept really really easier and easily blendable that it becomes so so smooth that you can actually use it for a full fledged day until the battery lasts So now, when it comes to the Vision Pro headset, uh, when it introduced itself, uh, the operating system was kind of empty. There were some of the applications which were already existing on the Apple's uh, iPhone or something like that, which comes pre-installed. Something like settings and stuff like that, photos, cameras, and you know, there are some pre-selected applications which come pre-installed on your iPhone or iPad or something like that. And it was also happened with to be to be seen over here. A lot of uh, different applications were also also. tried out but app, uh, operating system feels a lot of emptiness when it comes to the gaming and perspective they did focus to a lot of stuff as if um, a lot of immersive as gaming experience could be concerned um, but they introduced a lot of new movie type of experience where you will be able to interact with some of the things around the movie which will be coming around uh, there aren't a lot of movies to showcase they partner with a lot of brands and stuff also in the event in between of the event only and also a lot of schemes will be also getting optimized 
and the forged lines of the fish tongue needs to be getting polished and uh, so do the abo will be introducing a lot of operating systems for by the time and time passes uh, such as uh, we all know the ios is there is something like that will be also available before the vision watch too apart from that operating system needs to be getting a bit of polishness and stuff like that and also if you are already on to the apple ecosystem then it might be going ahead and blending you really really smoothly some of the things uh, might be getting updated over here when it comes to the hand gestures there might be a completely fluid full fledged apple watch needed might be something like that or there might be a some word of uh, you you might be needing a uh, iPhone itself for some of the uses, so there might be uh, some of the things which might be connecting or blending it with the Apple's ecosystem. Going ahead with the competition, see the competition is basically around with the AR, VR, and stuff like that. Meta is one of the few of the brands which might get too close with the Apple's vision pro headset or something like that. Meta has kind of say realistically developed the new new technologies for their. Yeah, headset and stuff like that, the Quest Pro, Quest 2 Pro, and something like that, which are light weight easily carry around the stuff like that. And also, they are interactable with the, what is going on with the environment and what is going on on your screen. Also, a lot of different different brands have also developed a lot of new technology, which kind of they blends in in your spectacles or something like that. When it comes to a lot of brands, there is also TCL, Oppo, a lot of brands are there. For for example. Who have developed a good amount of technology, which can be blended really easily. But Apple didn't showcase a lot of uh, that your avatar will be there inside the game or inside the Vision Pro headset. They have kept it in a minimal way, as if it's a completely different. And by the time will be passing, the Apple will be also adding some of the spiciness on the top of the operating system. They have kept it in a way that it is more often a productivity and entertainment based stuff. Rather than what we are able to see when it comes to the metaverse or something like a virtual world and stuff, so it's kind of kept in in a really minimal and in a different way and kind of see a separated way. But when it comes to the price point, the people might be getting hop on with the metaverse quest or something like that in a bougie toy. You can see it's a cheaper manner or wanted to save some money over that effectiveness. Also, the those headset comes with the controllers or you can see the controllers basically you can call it as. Inside the box, while this one doesn't come with the controller, as of now it has been showcased with the hand gestures and stuff like that. And kind of say it looks a futuristic on the first glance, but there might be some of the ups and downs coming around with the operating system experience. Aside the operating system, then then there is the privacy. See, the Vision Pro has been also kept with the kind of say a privacy concerned way. Also, a lot of things are there which might be getting on on. Unbalanced on this Vision Pro devices. Some of the things uh, when it comes to the privacy, Apple has just quoted a system of the stuff which is already pre-existing. They didn't showcase anything which is completely separate yet cool enough for the Vision Pro headset. We were thinking that the Vision Pro headset will be having some of the privacy concern and stuff. And as of now, by the time has been passed, there are some good good amount of the privacy concern which can be alleviated over here. Some of the things which might be also getting concerned over here, the heat. Apple's each and every product does get heated, and if it's a technology or you can see electronic product, it definitely produces some sort of heat, and that concern might be big for the uh, stuff which you are wearing upon your eyes. And by the time will be passing, the heat will be producing, and you won't be enjoying the experience for that device or stuff like that. Apart from there, a lot of uh, things which needed to be polished around the operating system. We also talked about that um, heating issues and stuff like that needs to be getting balanced with the processors ups and downs. And when it comes to the gaming, the M2 is good, but it will produce heat at the end of the day. At the end of the day, there are also some of the VR applications available on the uh, respective applications such as uh, respective App Store, and which has been kind of say. Kept in a restricted manner, such as if the application is dedicated for the VR mode and stuff like that, it won't be directly going on to the App Store for the Vision Pro headset. It will be keeping aside then uh, what are the actual Vision Pro headset and stuff like that. Also, a concern for the eyes might be coming out for some of the users, but I can't comment upon those stuff because they have told it that it's a OLED micro LED display and stuff like that. So I don't know a lot about. That what type of lenses, what type of stuff they are going to be using on the top of it. 
how the comfortness and stuff will be there so i can't be commenting i have kept it in a way that it's on the top of it and easily can be identifiable apart from there privacy and concerns might be there which i have talked about and health issues might be getting around for some of the users what are your thoughts so let us know in the comment section down below the vision pro headset will be costing around 3500 and by the time we'll be passing, it might be getting cheaper. And also, some of the leaks, uh, leaks and talks were been so coming around that uh, a bullshit vision headset was been so built around. But by the time passes, uh, we didn't talk, we didn't get a lot of info about that. Also, apart from that, if you know anything about the Vision Pro headset, which is kind of a concerning, let us know in the comment section down below. And this was Captain Diaz. You are watching Chaos and Diaz. You know what to do, like, share, subscribe, we'll be appreciating our work and for more amazing content like this, stay safe, stay connected, peace.